We are asked to determine the sum if possible. The first step is to simplify these square roots to see if we have like radicals. To simplify these square roots, we need to identify any perfect square factors of the radicands. To do this, let's look at the prime factorization of 28 and 63. 28 is equal to four times seven, seven is prime, and four is equal to two times two, and two is prime. 63 is equal to nine times seven, seven is prime, nine is equal to three times three, and three is prime. Let's write the square root of 28 as the square root of two times two times seven, plus let's write the square root of 63 as the square root of three times three times seven. Looking at the prime factorization, we can see that 28 has a perfect square factor here of two times two, and 63 has a perfect square factor of three times three here. And because the square root of two times two or two squared simplifies to one factor of two, this simplifies to two square root seven plus, because the square root of three times three or three squared simplifies to one factor of three, this simplifies to three square root seven. And now we have like radicals because these square roots are exactly the same, and we add like radicals just like we add like terms two square root seven plus three square root seven is equal to five square root seven. This is the sum of the given square roots. Next we have the square root of 48 plus the square root of 75. Again, let's look at the prime factorization of 48 and 75. 48 is equal to six times eight. Six is equal to two times three, both are prime. Eight is equal to four times two, two is prime, and four is equal to two times two. 75 is equal to three times 25, three is prime, and 25 is equal to five times five. So let's write the square root of 48 as the square root of its prime factors, which contains one, two, three, four factors of two and a factor of three. plus the square root of 75. Let's write 75 as a product of primes, which is three times five times five, or if we want five times five times three. And now to identify the perfect square factors. Well, two times two is a perfect square here and here, and five times five is a perfect square factor here. The square root of two times two or two squared simplifies the one factor of two here and here, which gives us two times two outside the square root, and then we have times the square root of three, plus the square root of five times five or five squared simplifies to one factor of five, giving us plus five square root three. Two times two is equal to four, so let's write this as four square root three plus five square root three. Again, notice how we do have like radicals, because again, these square roots are exactly the same, and we find the sum just like we add like terms. Four square root three plus five square root three is equal to nine square root three. Nine square root three is the sum of the given square roots. I hope you found this helpful.